In today's video, I want to tell you not to overlook biblical illiteracy. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, the word of the Most High Yah says, Study to show thyself approved, rightly dividing the word. Rightly dividing it. You're going to realize once you come out from among them, you come out of world religion that hijacks scriptures out of the books and cherry picks it to formulate a, a body around the scripture that they hijacked calling it religion you know you're gonna realize that there's some people out there that willfully do not walk in truth they choose not to receive the truth and when we talk about biblical illiteracy man there's people in ministry and I, I want you to challenge what I'm saying there's people that have gone and paid a lot of money to learn from biblically illiterate people you know there's people that have been in ministry 30 40 50 years and are biblically illiterate what do I mean by that okay uh, Christmas is flat out not in the book not uh, as a holiday that the Most High, you know, told believers to keep. There's no instruction in there on how to keep it. You know, you cannot find out that uh, the Messiah wanted us to celebrate his birthday, but thousands of pastors teach it. Thousands of people believe it. And these are people that have claimed to read the Bible from front to back. These are people that uh, claim to be scholars of the word. When that's not what they are, they're scholars of religion. Go back in there, like, you truly need to ask your pastor, why are we doing a Christmas service? Why are we celebrating the birth of Jesus when that's not nowhere as a command? When you read Exodus 34, that goes along with Exodus chapter 20, you don't read that nowhere in there. That's called biblical illiteracy. And people rather worship in their opinion of what truth is than actually relying on the book for truth. Here's another one. You find instructions for how to keep Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, but religion has hijacked it. And now you've got Easter Bunny and all this and communion and when you think about that that stuff's not in the book you're talking about passover and feast of unleavened bread biblical illiteracy is a real thing you have people out there that will swear up and down that tithes is money they'll teach that tithes is money but they can't show you that in the book and a, a lot of this Biblical illiteracy is going to be found amongst the lawless. Where you have lawless people that use scriptures like, here's another one. People use the very scripture that tells you that Messiah didn't come to destroy the law. They use that as justification to say, well, this is where it says right here that uh, the, the, the law is done away with. He came to fulfill it. Like fulfill it means do away with that's not the etymology of the word fulfill and in the first part of it if you were not biblically illiterate if they were not biblically illiterate they would understand he's telling you i did not come to destroy the law i came to fulfill biblically illiterate people will be like oh they said it right here he came to the he came to do away with it and destroy it you it, it's this is a real thing, and I'm telling you not to overlook it. And they're, they're, they're 
uh, there'll be people out there that'll say, hey, you know, uh, all you need is faith. You don't need works. And they'll even launch their accusation. That's a works-based salvation. The works, the word says faith without works is dead. So you want to be walking around with dead faith? You'll start to realize that a lot of these institutions of religion, man, they're teaching uh, people to be further more biblically literate. Anytime you jump, let me set this camera up real quick. Man, anytime you jump from Adam and Eve in the garden, skip all over and then go to Matthew, you're going to jack up tithes and offering. You're going to have no understanding. You're going to jack up uh, marriage. You're going to jack up sin. You'll be looking at precepts, calling those laws in the New Testament when sin is the transgression of the law. And Torah, first five books of the Bible, is what defines that. But because people don't live it and choose not to live it and have turned their hearts against the will of the Most High and his laws, and the word says, my righteousness as an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. This is why you have so many people not walking in truth. They gravitate to places and choose biblically illiterate teachers. It says the people will gravitate away from sound doctrine. Some of these people will fight you all day up and all day up and down about stuff that they do and why they do it and their opinions and feelings, but they never can come from a place of being biblically concrete. Another one is rapture. Can't nobody show you a, a scripture that says rapture in the book. Why? Because it's a man-made doctrine. A whole bunch of preachers teaching it man-made doctors outside of the book and a lot of them gonna realize they can't stand on the truth because they ain't walking in it they're walking in uh where they've cherry picked stuff read it out of context it's like priest okay priests have uh 80 books in their bible the catholic church has 80 books in their bible how did they skip over the part where now we no longer need the priesthood but they're still doing all these confessions and doing priest activity when the Messiah lets us know he's a mediator between the most high and man. How did they skip over this stuff? And this is where, uh, you know, if you are in religion, you might have questions, but until you step out and zoom out and see this, how did all these denominations take the same book and go 32 different ways? Biblical illiteracy. And ain't none of them keeping the commandments and the laws and the statutes and the precepts. Don't overlook biblical illiteracy. You have people out here that have questions and they don't have any kind of understanding of the Bible, but you can show them they're easily taught because you're teaching them solely from the book and not out of the vain concepts of religion. You got people out here so biblically illiterate they think that uh, the word religion is pertaining to Christianity, Catholicism, uh, pertaining to uh, Baptist, apostolic. No, the word religion, the etymology of the word means worship. The whole book is about worship. It's not about Christianity. But when you remain uh, biblically literate, you don't, never, you don't never come to the truth about learning about the Gentiles gave the followers of Messiah the titles of Christians. It wasn't the it wasn't the Messiah or his disciples or his apostles. It wasn't them. There was a name given to them by Gentiles. There's a lot of biblically illiterate people out here. And the word says they twist and warp scripture to their own destruction. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.